if you've got your car up on the lift, you're going to want to make sure you have the following. A funnel. A ratchet along with the drive. That's a size 13 millimeter. Let's get a little closer. And you might want a bigger ratchet than this. This is, um, God, I don't even know what drive this is. Let me see here. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a quarter inch. But it's, a, it's a pretty small, not very durable. Probably will only be used this one time. Uh, and of course, you'll need your oil. We use Mobile One Annual Protection 5W30, along with this guy for the oil filter, the M1101A. And of course, it matches our 5W30. And of course, to get rid of all that oil, you're going to want one of these. We chose this guy because he can store all the oil you may need. 10 quarts. Alright, without further ado, let's get this started. Once again, underneath you have your oil drain pan placed. You're going to want to stick your socket on the drain plug. And then just simply loosen it. Once the oil ends up looking like this, just a small drip, go ahead and put that oil plug right back in. Of course, don't forget to crank it down with that socket wrench that you have. Next, you're gonna remove the oil filter, which is more on the passenger side. Should just be able to do it with a hand. And be very careful, because oil will drip. I usually let the oil drip out, go into the pan, and then fully take it off. Now I'm going to take the old filter and I usually just grab a little bit of that oil and stick it on the new filter. That way it's got some lubrication as you put it on. It's just like that. And in addition to that, so that you don't have a dry start, I put a little bit of oil inside the filter also. New oil. You don't have to fill it, but that's good enough right there. Okay, then you're gonna put that filter right on up here. Twist that sucker on hand tight. If you go too tight, then some damage may occur. They have a specific way of doing it, but I just go a turn and a half usually. Obviously nothing is in there because it's empty, but just to be sure, nothing's in there except for the access that's on the, the line. Okay, so we're going to set that aside, take our funnel, and our oil. Now this car takes four and a half quarts, so it's not going to take the full jug. We'll take most of it. All right, right here is usually a good spot to. All right, that usually means there's about a quart left. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it. See how much is in the oil pan. Looks 
Looks like we need just a little bit more. We're a little bit over, but the car will burn that off. It is winter time, so should be able to burn that off without a problem. So you'll remove the funnel. We're just gonna throw it over here in the grass. And I usually clean this guy off too, since he's off. Might as well clean it. Make sure oil stays nice and clean and your gasket stays in good shape. Alright, that's probably the best we're going to do right now. And slap that puppy back on. Alright, 